A shocking accident, an unexpected surgery, and a bold approach to therapy. The Maze Runner trilogy changed Dylan O'Brien's life forever. The Maze Runner movie trilogy is based on a series of novels by author James Dashner. The story follows a group of children known as Gladers struggling to survive vicious experimentation at the hands of evil scientists in a post-apocalyptic America. The series includes a murderous labyrinth, a zombie-like virus calling the human population with savage accuracy, and a global weather crisis brought on by catastrophic solar flares. Throughout the Maze Runner series, Dashner piles his characters under the titanic weight of tragedy. For the most part, the movies attempt to faithfully adapt the Maze Runner series for the screen, at least in spirit. The artistic team physically created a great portion of the first film's titular maze, and at no point during the cinematic trilogy did the Gladers catch a well-deserved break. That was especially true for Dylan O'Brien, who played the series' protagonist, Thomas, a child scientist who wiped his own memory so that he could jump into the very trap he partially built. Ultimately, he led most of his fellow Gladers to freedom, via a path that involved feats of bravery and heroism. This harrowing journey nearly cost Thomas his life, and, on one disastrous occasion, nearly cost O'Brien his life, too. In March 2016, on the set of The Death Cure, the third and final installment in the Maze Runner movie trilogy, Dylan O'Brien was involved in an accident while performing a stunt involving motorized vehicles. According to The Hollywood Reporter, O'Brien was strapped into a safety harness while riding atop a moving vehicle when he was suddenly pulled to the ground. To make matters worse, O'Brien fell into the path of another moving vehicle. As reported by the Salt Lake Tribune, the accident involved a motorcycle sliding out of control after a stunt on the film set in Vancouver, British Columbia. It was horrible. It was a very scary thing. O'Brien received extensive injuries during the accident, telling the Salt Lake Tribune, I broke most of the right side of my face. I feel really lucky to have come away from it. O'Brien's injuries were so severe that he required facial reconstruction surgery, not just for aesthetics, but to reconstitute standard function. In fact, the damage also caused him brain trauma. The ensuing surgery, which successfully patched O'Brien back together, left him with multiple permanent plates holding everything in place. He went on to tell the Salt Lake Tribune, I was really lucky with a really brilliant doctor, and he salvaged a lot of what I used to look like. And to anybody who saw me after it happened, I think it's really astonishing how well everything healed and how my doctors fixed me up. Luckily, O'Brien made a full physical recovery, but the terrifying ordeal could have caused irreparable damage. As a result, no one would have blamed O'Brien had he decided to take an early retirement. After all, no one could walk away from such a seismic event without some form of emotional fallout. Instead of choosing the quiet life, however, O'Brien opted for an almost immediate return to Hollywood. He also didn't ease himself back into the movie-making process. Instead, O'Brien's first role following the accident was in 2017's American Assassin, a stunt-heavy action film, which was shot in the same calendar year as The Death Cure. The therapists refer to this sort of head-on approach to overcoming something terrible as flooding, and it seemed to work for the star of The Maze Runner. As O'Brien told the Salt Lake Tribune, "...making American Assassin was a big part of me getting back on my feet. It really ended up being hugely cathartic for me, and showed me that I could do it again and get back on a set. And not just any set, but something like this, and really tackle it head-on." As it turned out, O'Brien's healing process involved trading on-screen punches with Michael Keaton. His self-prescribed medicine also gave him the confidence to return to finish filming The Death Cure in early 2017, which had been on production hiatus since the accident occurred a year prior. The project debuted in 2018, and O'Brien would subsequently join other blockbuster action films, proving that his approach worked perfectly.